Hey there, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey, and I'm excited to have received the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. And I'm going to do an unboxing and basic assembly in this video. Uh, a little history for a couple years, I've been using an Ioptron Gym 28 mount, and I've been limited to about three minute exposures. Anything beyond that, if I try to do a five minute exposure, I really can't get a good enough tracking and stability with the mount. So, obviously, I'm really looking forward to being able to capture long longer exposures if possible. From what I've read and people's reviews of this mount from Skywatcher, um, I get the impression, you know, it does really good when it comes to tracking and people are able to successfully do longer exposures. So I hope you enjoy this uh, product unboxing and basic assembly and let's get started. It's clear picking this mount up for the first time, you're probably not going to want to move this around a lot. In my case, that's okay because I plan on mounting this on a pier in my observatory. Before I set this up on the tripod, I just wanted to take a look at the different angles of the mount. A little later here, when I set this up on the tripod, we'll get some better close-up images of the mount. Time to get a look at the tripod and counterweights. Since I'll be mounting this on a pier, I probably won't use the tripod very much, but I will use the counterweights and possibly some of the hardware off the tripod. The instructions here explain how, depending upon your latitude, you should place these screws.
my latitude is just over 38 north, so I might as well go ahead and set this, even though this is just a mock setup. I'm going to go ahead and balance the deck and RA of the mount just to see how the counterweights uh, work out. I doubt I'm going to need to. I put that second one on there, but I'm sure I'm not going to need it. This power cord comes with a like a, a cigarette lighter charger type adapter on the other end. So if you don't have a DC set up to go um, AC to DC, you'll have to get one or get a different power adapter. In my case, I use a Pegasus power box. So I ordered a DC cable for the Pegasus power box to also connect to this mount. You do have to turn the RA axis of the mount horizontally to make the polar scope have visibility. Okay, I'm going to hook this up to the AC to DC converter and give this thing a whirl. So I purchased this mount from uh, Hena Astro. I'm not sure about that pronunciation of the name, but they gave good customer service. It arrived quickly, nothing was damaged, and the price seemed to match um, you know, prices out there from other competitors. And so I wanted to show uh, quickly just from their website, uh, the product listing and a few details, a few key details off that site. But please go out and visit uh, their website. And uh, if you're interested in this mount or other um, Astro gear, they're great. Uh, vendor and always do a good job. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, product unboxing and basic assembly and I'm wishing you clear skies.